In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to switch between languages on your keyboard, be it English, Chinese, Russian, or basically any other language that you want to use. All right, so let's begin. So the keyboard I use is Gboard. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can download it if you want. And um, the basic way to change the language without having to go to settings is by just long pressing the space bar. So as you can see, I only have English as the language that I want, but I can add more languages by tapping language settings. So if you guys want to add more languages, then please tap language settings and then tap add keyboard. Now I'll look for Chinese and Russian. I don't know why I like those languages, although I don't understand them. But, um, yeah. So I just searched for Chinese and I'm going to tap traditional Chinese, which has all the signs and symbols and then tap done. Next, I'm going to tap add keyboard again and you can add any language you like. So this time I'm going to tap Russian. That's just it. Go back. And now over here it says English, which means you are currently using the English language. If you long press on it, you have Chinese, Russian, and these other ones, well, they are just extra keyboards you may have um, downloaded or that came with the phone. Now I'll just switch to Chinese. Then type something that I don't understand. Uh, well, I do not know what this means, but I'm just trying to prove to you that you can actually change the keyboard language. And now I'm going to switch to Russian now. But first, I'll delete this. So just long press and then switch to the language you want. So, well, yes, you can see everything works, even though I don't understand what I'm writing. But that's just to show you that you can quickly switch to a different language without having to go through settings, which can be done by long pressing the comma and then hovering over settings, and then brief languages, and then you have to add keyboard again. All right, so if you found the video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you have questions, let me know. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. All right, bye-bye. Well, I'm making this video after the video you just saw. And um, if you want to delete the languages you added, you can long press on the keyboard again, and then select this option. Then tap this pencil icon, and then select the ones you want to delete. For me, I want to delete the Chinese and the Russian, and then I'm going to tap this.